I want to talk about I guess they describe themselves as a craft or handmade services selling website. Well, December 2016, I started offering spells and readings through the website. Everything went great. It gave me more exposure to clients than I've ever received from another website. And I have used some of the big name selling websites. I won't list them, I won't mention which ones they are, but there are two that I've, I've used pretty much exclusively other than And let's just say, okay, was by far the best one. So everything went great for about 10 months until the end of September, early October, 2017. When I get an email from telling me that of my listings have been deactivated and that my money is on hold that if I list any more metaphysical listings with them I will forfeit any money that is in my account now for those of you who don't know I've studied law and I can tell you right now they can't do that I made that money fair and square. I read over the user agreement when I signed up and I found no reference and I searched for it purposefully. There was no mention of metaphysical items not being allowed on their website. So 10 months later when I get these emails and they're threatening to not only put a hold on my money but out and out refuse to give me my money and at this point I have over $500 sitting there waiting to be put in my bank account, that is theft. That is fraud. They changed their user agreement and did not bother to tell me and then threatened to keep my money because of it. So to say I was pissed off is an understatement, especially since this happened just before Halloween and as you can imagine, spells and readings and stuff, they happened to sell quite a bit in the month of October. But that's okay. I saw right. I'll focus on selling crafts and services through the holiday season and in the new year I will I'll figure out what I can do. Well I did some research part of which was started by themselves sending me an email in early December telling me that offering gift cards gift certificates for products and services is a great holiday money making well I don't want to say scheme but Basically, <laughs> offering gift cards to your clients is a way of kind of expanding your client base or your sales. And I thought, okay, well, if gift cards are allowed, that's what I'll do. I will offer gift cards redeemable for my services. So that is what I did. I'm not quite sure how long. I think maybe two weeks, two or three weeks now. I've been offering gift cards gift certificates let's be clear gift certificates wherein the client can pick what type of spell they would like to redeem for and the length of time so just like buying a gift certificate to a spa you are picking what kind of treatment you want do you want to treat your romantic life do you want to treat your finances do you want to treat your weight your health etc how long of a treatment do you want and as i said this was idea in the first place they sent me the damn email telling me to list gift certificates for the holidays so i thought i was in the clear anyway i got an email just a few minutes ago telling me that all my stuff's been pulled from their site again so if you can't tell from my tone i'm past and I'm to, let's call a lawyer. I'm just, I just want to bring up the email here. Let's see here. Our records show that you've previously been contacted about policies 
on services and intangible goods. I'm reaching out to inform you that has removed further listings from your shop that violate this process. Sorry, th this policy. Okay, first of all, I am not selling services nor intangible goods. I am selling gift certificates. Okay, so let's continue on. Okay. As a reminder, is a marketplace for tangible, handmade items. The gift certificates are handmade. Thank you. Vintage goods and crafting supplies. We prohibit the sales of services and intangible, including but not limited to. Okay, again, it is a handmade item. It is not a service. It is a gift certificate. And it is tangible. I can deliver it through ground mail if the client wants or I can email it to them and they can print it out it's a gift certificate okay not hard to understand so anyway they prohibit the sales of services and intangible goods including but not limited to super magical that super natural or metaphysical services such as prayers ritual spells and distance healing sessions again not what I'm selling this time Second of all, okay, they prohibit phenomena or other service-like outcomes that are attributed to an item. Example, vintage ring presented as having weight loss or money attracting powers. Not what I'm selling. Like, I, I don't know how I can make this any clearer to them. I'm not selling a magic gift certificate that's going to help you lose weight. I am selling a gift certificate redeemable for a service or product it is the exact same as selling a gift certificate to a spa because no offense i really don't think being wrapped in seaweed is any more quote real than they're claiming my products are sorry i'm just i won't mention other websites but this is what happened with another website <laughs> and i had to stop selling on them because of it and, and the kicker with that is, is that they didn't tell us sellers. They just went and like in the media, oh, by the way, starting such and such a date. And it's like, if I hadn't happened to read that news article on that one day, I would have had no idea I would have ended up in big trouble. And they, they have the same policy. Apparently, you're not supposed to sell prayers or metaphysical items, spells, etc. And then they turn around and allow Christian and Jewish religious services to be sold on their site. Well, that's out and discrimination. And if I find out that is doing the same thing, I am going to get a lawyer involved. I don't want to have to be that way, but this is my biggest source of income due to my very rural location in the world. I'm limited on job opportunities and this is a way for me to not only make a little bit of money and I do mean a little bit it takes I like I might make a thousand dollars a year if I'm really lucky like if it allows me to continue listing I might be able to make a thousand dollars in a year otherwise I might make fifty dollars and I'm not talking profit I'm talking overall so to lose my ability to list on is a big hit to my income to my self-esteem like it's just I hate to throw the word discrimination out there but it really does feel discriminatory because as I've mentioned several times in this video what I'm offering is a gift certificate it is not it does not claim to be a magic gift certificate once you have the gift certificate in your hand all your worries will go away that is not what I'm claiming at all I'm simply selling a gift certificate for a entertainment product and I swear to God if I go on your site and find one single freaking listing for a movie gift certificate redeemable for five dollars off Pirates of the Caribbean DVD or Blu-ray or something like that if I find even just one listing like that I'm suing your freaking ass because I am selling an entertainment product via gift certificate. So, just to continue on from the first part of the video, I went and looked on the website, reread 
the policies that you have to agree to before you're allowed to list. And again, there is no mention of gift cards, gift certificates, etc. I even did a phrase search for the word gift, for the word card, and for the word certificate. And the only place that there is any mention of those is down at the bottom where it says shop for gift cards. And you click on it and it brings up a whole bunch of gift cards. Okay, well, those are actually redeemable for credit on the website. It's the same as if you buy one to like Walmart or it's redeemable. You buy it and it's redeemable at that establishment. So, okay, gift cards are only available for purchase for credit on that website. So I went ahead and I looked up gift certificates. And there are currently 12,406 listings for gift certificates on the website. And I've, I've scrolled through. The majority of them are for a photo that will be sent to you, like a picture, whatever, a file that you print out and fill out to make gift certificates for your own company or whatever. You know, kind of like those those goofy little coupons you can pick up for Valentine's Day or Easter or whatever, you know. This certificate is redeemable for, and then you fill in the line, back rub, etc. Like, they're just the blank certificate templates. That's it. And then there are ones that are for, like, a photography session. Like I said, there's 14 or 1,200. Uh, I'm getting from box here. There are over 12,000 listings. So it's kind of hard to go through all of them. But the majority of them seem to be just a template that you would print out yourself. Mine is a legitimate gift certificate. You receive it, and then you contact me through my website or through email. Or, if that's too confusing, you can contact me directly through the, the website that I use to sell the certificate on in the first place. And at that point, I would tell you, I would remind you what your gift certificate number is and that you can contact me through email or my website. In no way does it appear that I'm actually breaking any rules on this website. So I really need them to step up and tell me what I've done wrong, how I can fix it. If I am actually breaking a rule, please explain to me how I am. Because as I've mentioned previously, I am not selling an intangible good. I am not selling a metaphysical good. I do not claim that the item I'm selling holds any phenomenal powers. I am simply selling the same as 12,000 plus other listings. I'm simply selling a gift certificate. So the ball is in your court website that shall not be named. And I'm going to give them until Monday. Or the website says that my current account balance with them will be transferred by end of business, February 12th. So that is Monday. So if I have not received my money by 5 p.m. February 12th, or I have not received a return email from them explaining why my items have been removed and others have not, and I may even go so far as saying if my listings are not put back up, then I feel that I am going to have to take action against them. I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's hard not to feel like I'm being kind of singled out here, kind of discriminated against, because there are 12,000 other people <laughs> listing very similar if not less tangible things than I am. So that pretty much concludes my video. I'm ticked off. I think I have a right to be ticked this time. I almost forgot to tell you. The email they sent me today is the exact same email they sent me back in September, October. It's like they didn't even bother to read the title of the listings or the listing themselves because the title says gift certificate. The first line of each of the items, each of the gift certificates, actually says, this is for a gift certificate. So, 
only if you are not reading the title or the description would you miss the fact that this is for a gift certificate. So if you're not even going to take the time to read what I'm selling, how can you make a proper judgment on whether I'm breaking the rules or not? So as I said, the ball is in your court website that shall not be named. Let's see where it goes. And if anyone else has gone through this with, well, I was going to say big name websites, but if you've been discriminated against like this on any platform out there on the internet, then please let me know. I I think we should band together against some of these, these big corp websites because they do have a tendency to allow certain people to get away with things and then kind of not allow other people to get away with the same stuff. So, yeah. I'll let you know how it all goes.